there are a lot of uh, innovations in health and education especially that actually are aiming to move national policy. And many of these innovations born out of, from civil society actually take about 15 to 20 years to actually even be heard. So there's a big gap and a lot of time that's required. Even after the science is in place, it takes 10 to 15 years to actually get heard. Can the innovation, uh, National Innovation Council actually, can you comment on how NIC is going to firstly shorten that period when the science is very strong and how can we make consideration of innovation more driven by data and science? Well, we are going to be creating innovation portal at a national level. The whole idea of creating innovation councils at state level, sectorial level, is to really increase awareness. Creating systems of incentives and awards is also an effort to create awareness. And a lot of these things will have to be done in parallel. We all know the problems. Problems are all known. I always say that we don't require talent in India to identify problems. We know that we are not innovative at this point in time. On one hand. On the other hand, we are very innovative in some areas. We are not sensitive to intellectual property at all. We don't have venture capital, angel investors. We don't have to fail, and part of innovation equation is the desire and ability to recognize failure. So all of this will take time. The fact that government has decided to set up or has set up National Innovation Council, it shows the political will of the government to focus on innovation. The fact that President of India talked about a decade of innovation, which has never happened before in the history of the country. But since President talked about a decade of innovation, it shows the political will. Now it is up to us to really galvanize the community, create road maps, identify talent, fill in the gaps, have more discussion, debate, create right communities. I believe government is willing to support in every way possible. Now it is up to us to take advantage of this political will and translate it. Uh, this is Mahesh I'm from Jharkhand. Uh, you talked about connecting panchayats. We just had our panchayat elections there. One of the biggest problems, uh, two things I'm going to talk about, which is one, uh, whatever was it's supposed to be connected through the statewide area network, SWAN, uh, which is up till the BDO office. Not true. I'm Not sorry. True. Yeah, okay. The sw statewide area network, which was supposed to connect the government offices through BSNL, uh, they're not working. Uh, we have 4,000 panchayats in Jharkhand. Most of them are not working because BSNL is a service provider. They've not been able to either reach or they're not able to provide the bandwidth that's required. Now, two things. And all the, all the innovation, all the knowledge that you're talking about is going to be effective only if the last mile delivery is going to happen. Uh, now, is there an opportunity for uh, technologies outside BSNL, service providers outside BSNL who can enable this network? Uh, and is it going to be an open network where, in, like UID, the platform where you can go and build services on that platform and deliver? Yes, it will be open network. We will bring in optical fiber, 10 to 40 gigabit bandwidth into the panchayat location where there will be a tower. That tower could be shared by all private parties. Any operator can use the tower to put in their box for 3G, 2G, 4G, whatever, and provide connectivity. Our job would be to provide thick pipe as soon as possible, which could be used by anybody. It is not just BSNL that is going to provide pipe, but if you really examine the details 
of the optic network is done. Only BSNL has the reach in rural areas. We have mapped all this using GIS. So your BSNL, your rail cell, your power grid, and then you have all the private parties who are predominantly in urban areas. So we're going to do sort of this mapping, which we have already done, and then identify who is closest to that panchayat and who can provide link at the low cost. Our job is to provide transmission links, connectivity, and platforms on which anybody can write applications. So the job is Good morning, sir. This is uh, Hemant from Hyderabad. Uh, I'm, this is a very momentous uh, thing, so I thank you for uh, sharing about the National Innovation Council. Uh, and uh, we saw entrepreneurship, we all agree that entrepreneurship is the only way to uh, uh, scale up uh, the job creation and inclusive growth. But what my question is, once the innovation is happening, uh, with the help of Innovation Council and other things, once the seed money is given, there is a huge gap between seed money and when the angels and the SME stock exchange come in. That gap, uh, I see that money is available and people uh, with innovations require the money, but there is regulatory gap to allow equity funding going into these areas uh, where the investors do not need investor protection, but there is a huge uh, regulatory gap there. What is the thinking at the government level for facilitating we early are, stage we are funding? Looking at this. Thank you. Yeah, we are looking at this. It has been brought to our attention. There are several policy issues that we are now beginning to understand. We haven't addressed all of those yet. But we are beginning to understand some of the policy gaps. We are talking to the Planning Commission, talking to the Ministry of Industries. We are getting some help from CII, SIKI and others. And it's a process. If you come to know about something specific, write to us. I strongly recommend that you look at three websites. One, www.knowledgecommission.gov. You will see about 300 recommendations on 27 subjects, including intellectual property, innovation, entrepreneurship. Two, look at a website called PII. Public Information Infrastructure. Third, Innovation Council .gov .in. These three websites will tell you a lot about skill development, education, and all of that, plus innovation and public information infrastructure. Another website you might want to look at, or can do a Google search, is National Knowledge Network, NKN.in. And this website talks about the National Knowledge Network. It is unfortunate that very few people really look at these things. You know, we have a National Knowledge Commission website in 10 different languages. And believe me, we get three to 4,000 hits a month in a country of billion people, of which 2,000 hits come from abroad and only 1,000 hits come from India. And these are the same people who complain that we don't know this, we don't know that. Just go read something, please. And then you'll find out what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. So just last Good. question, please. Uh, good morning, Mr. Pitroda. My name is uh, Uday Kagal. It's a pleasure to hear about your vision. My name is Uday Kagal. I represent Innovation Social Consultants. It's a pleasure to hear about your views on the National Innovation Council. Uh, we engage with the business domain and the social domain on innovation. Now, one of the biggest challenges we face is uh, people don't actually understand what it is. And a lot of times, especially in the social domain, it is mistaken for invention or creativity. So the question I have for you is, is there a point of view that you have or is there something that you would sort of uh, share in terms of what innovation actually is? Thank you. Well, we are writing a book right now 
on this whole business of innovation as it relates to what we are trying to do. There are a lot of literature available already. And everyone has their own view and their own ideas of what innovation is. I don't think we should be the only people who have the wisdom. There are lots of people who probably know these things better than we do. We are more of a capitalist. A lot of activity is going on in the country. We really need to put our ears on the ground, understand what's going on, encourage many more people, fill in the policy gaps, create the right kind of institutional framework, and encourage, at the end of the day, people innovate. Governments don't, institutions don't. Innovation's always at the edge for that. So we really need, like, we need to reward people. We need to help them. Then there will be innovation. Process is just beginning. So don't expect quick fixes. It's not going to happen. It's going to take long time in India. Some people would be faster. Others would be still really trying to understand what innovation is all about. But we have young population. A lot of these technology fields, biotech, nanotech, IT require young talent. So we are relying on young people, young talent, newer fields to really help us in expediting this process. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, please let's give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen.